Today I'm reviewing the incredibly popular iPad Mini 4. Now the iPad Mini 4 has been available for a little over a year now, but it's still one of the most popular tablets on the market. The Mini 4 is currently available in three colors, gold, space gray, and silver, and is available with 32 and 128 gigabytes of storage. And there's also a cellular version that lets you use a cellular data plan to surf the web in places where you don't have Wi-Fi. The version I'm testing today is the 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi version in gold. I'll leave links to all the different versions and colors of the mini in the description below. In terms of design, it's almost identical to any iPad mini from the past. You have that gorgeous aluminum body on the back with perfectly rounded edges and corners. And on the front, you have that familiar 7.9 inch retina display. What you will miss at first glance is that Apple's been able to shave off about 40 grams of weight and about one millimeter in thickness. And this frankly has made the iPad mini 4 even more comfortable than the Mini 1, 2, or even 3. And none of these tablets were really heavy or bulky. It's just that the Mini 4 goes that extra mile to make it even more comfortable to hold. While there are quite a few things that have been added beneath the surface, one of the few things you'll notice when you set up the Mini is that it now comes with a Touch ID sensor built into the home button, much like almost any of the more recent iPhones on the market. Now this is really helpful since you can use it to unlock your device, authorize app downloads, and even pay for stuff using Apple Pay. While the resolution on the 7.9 inch retina display hasn't improved since the iPad mini 2, the mini 4 now comes with a laminated display which should improve the screen's performance slightly. And as expected, the screen performed very impressively. The colors were rich, well reproduced, and the screen has pretty wide viewing angles. And when it came to handling day-to-day -day tasks like browsing the web, my iPad mini 4, which is currently running iOS 10.2, didn't disappoint at all. Everything was extremely smooth even when it came to handling web pages filled with all kinds of videos, pictures, text, and animations. The web browsing experience was almost flawless. Popular apps like YouTube and Netflix also worked surprisingly smoothly, and I have to say the quality of the screen makes even browsing videos on apps like Netflix and YouTube really easy on the eyes. By far one of the best displays I've seen on a tablet lately. And when I played back full HD videos from YouTube or Netflix, the experience was just extremely impressive. Videos played back with without any hiccups or issues, and everything was very sharp and well saturated, as you can see here. And though there are only two speakers on the bottom of the tablet, the audio quality was more than adequate, as you can hear in this clip. I disclose the possibility of a rate hike during your refi. Do you remember that? Everyone on the ground, now! The three men walked off with $1.6 million. They choreographed it like a dance. A conga line right in the prison. And luckily, Apple hasn't done away with the headphone jack on the Mini 4, so you can still plug in your headphones. When it comes to gaming, the Mini 4 performs just as expected. It didn't drop any frames or hang or lag at all. The overall experience was very smooth, responsive, and trouble-free, even when playing games that were very graphics intensive. Another important upgrade is the rear-facing camera, which has been upgraded to 8 megapixels from the 5 megapixel camera on older iPad minis. The quality of that camera is very similar to what you You'd get from something like the older iPhone 5S, and it's actually a pretty good upgrade from the cameras on older iPad minis. It still doesn't come equipped with a flash, but the images are really crisp and the colors are very natural. Now, I'm not saying most people are going to use this as their main camera, but just having a much better camera available is definitely a worthwhile upgrade. What I do wish they had upgraded is the front-facing camera, which is still a 1.2 megapixel sensor. Now, the camera does work fine for things like FaceTime and Skype, as you can see in this clip, which was shot on the iPad mini 4. However, an upgrade to the camera system would really have helped people who use FaceTime and Skype a lot. So should you buy the iPad mini 4? Well, that all depends. If this is your first iPad mini and you're willing to spend the money, the iPad mini 4 is definitely worth the investment. However, if you're on a budget and can live without the 8 megapixel camera or touch ID sensor, the older iPad mini 2, which Apple also sells, is a great option that'll also save you a bit of money. And if you're looking to upgrade from the iPad mini 2 or 3, I really wouldn't recommend the upgrade. But if you're coming from the iPad mini 1 or an older generation of the bigger iPad, the mini 4 is definitely a huge improvement. And I'll leave links to different versions and colors of the mini 4 in the description below in case you're looking to buy one. Hope this video was useful. If you found it useful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.